Okay guys, let's find union of two sets. Given universal set and set A and set B, we should be able to figure out the union of different OI of given OIL. In other words, any scenario is given, you should be able to find the union. So first of all, let's know what is union. Union is basically big, you know, if you work under union, right? That means it's powerful. Uh, one or two people cannot make union. You have an organization after organization merged together is form an union. Okay, so that's union. So if you have a group of one group of 15 people, maybe let's take a look here. You have one group of 15 people or maybe 200 people, another group of 200 people. This is going to be union of 400 people. So that means it's added up. Yes. So union, we call it or or we just add everything we collect all members from various sets so that's union all right so basic understanding union it's everything forming together all right once we understand that let's work it out how can we solve or the set operation how can we find that okay so a union b you remember we're comparing a union b what is there okay so I clearly see I have one. So one comma two comma three comma. I don't have any four. I don't have any five. I don't have any six. I have a seven comma. I have eight. That is one comma two comma three comma seven comma eight. Well, I don't have to write eight double. Just only one eight is fine. Okay. So that's union. Let's take a look. Eight complement union b so how do we work it out so make sure we know how to find the complement i think we already have some understanding about complement so complement of a so remember that's a we're going to compare with the original set so cross it out cross it out cross it out look what i did i crossed those out and the remaining should be my a naught remaining okay remaining should be my a naught so i'll i'm going to put down the a naught i'm going to come out with a naught first so a naught is one comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma nine comma ten and i'm doing union so what is the b let's take a look here b is one comma seven comma eight now i'm ready to find my answer so union i'm going to collect all the member i'm going to collect all the member but we don't count twice so one comma that's the one i take it from here that's one i don't have any two i don't have any three i have a four comma five comma six comma seven comma i have eight comma i have nine comma I have ten that's my a complement union one four five six seven eight nine ten that is my complement as you clearly see okay let's work it out the last one here okay so how do you work it out so a union b look we already found a union b well sometimes you have to be a little bit clever you don't want to do the work again since you did work already so i'm going to have my answer from there one comma two comma three comma seven comma eight remember that is i already work it out so i'm just putting it down here okay now i want to make sure that we are comparing because this is not so this is going to be basically not so well how do you find out the not we always compare with the universal set so if we compare the universal set and make sure that we understand this one here also one two three seven eight look 
I'm going to cross this one out. I'm going to cross this one out. I'm going to cross this one out. Cross this one out. Cross this. You know what? I'm going to use the red color. Crossing out. Now, what is left over? Left over is 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. That is basically my complement. Okay. 